All right, day one, here we go. You ready for this? It's like, I have a bag, I can just put it in the bag. <laughs> Did you already start filming? Of course. No. Film everything. Filming starts at the door. That's, <laughs> sound like Woody already. All right, day one. Abaco 2023. Here we have our uh, guide for the week. Brian Cake. Good morning. There he is. All right, look at this. Yeah, man. Some fruits you can and eat stuff. all of this stuff except for, well, that's a flower. That's a flower, but that's our national tree. That's lignum vitae. Huh. And then she's growing pineapples all over the place. That's cool. The Italian tomatoes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see it. Nice. She's got a green thumb. <laughs> Buddy. Hey, yo, boy. Hi. Jealous. Oh, what? All right. Time to assemble. Tanks are ready. Yeah. Oxygen. And we still have the sticker from last year. Nice. A lot of different stickers. You no, know, it's Brian. I don't know. Nice. It's way cooler than the wall over there. Oh, well, yeah. This is the Kiss Lunar, aka heavily modified sidekick from Brian with his helmet. This is my sidewinder. Everything orange. All right. Guys, let's go ahead and step off the deck for one second. Watch this up. Huh? This is how you die. That's how you do it. Alright, while he's setting that up, let me go show you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. let's go. Let's flip the camera around so people can see. You remember the slippery bits, right? Yep. Okay. So all this, when it gets wet, it's going to be slippery. Yeah. And there you go. That's the walk to it. All these rocks, by the way. See how they're green? Oh, Looks yeah. Like crystal clear, beautiful water. So you see the, those branches over there? Mm -hmm. That's where we hang our road to. Yeah, I see some And then the entrance goes that way. way. So we'll be like in our knees in this area right here, mm -hmm. just getting set up, putting tanks, whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll start bringing tanks and we'll lay them like right yeah. here in the water. And then Brian always gets 
ready right here that's like his place and then we'll be right here helping each other and then we go diving that way okay that's it the world famous dance cave i'm ready yeah, yeah I, I love just how it's just you know i like some of the caves in florida kind of like that. like you, you kind of hike through and then there's just like this little pocket mm -hmm. and you never know what was here it's amazing yeah do it can't wait it's gonna be awesome dive number one we need to start bringing our stuff but totally worth it okay and here you can hear our commentary i have ben with me who's diving in front of me welcome Hi guys. to the show welcome to the show by the way we didn't mention this at the beginning of the video but uh Woody was supposed to be here. We booked this trip a year ago, but he's in the middle of opening a new business and uh, he couldn't he couldn't make it. So Ben stepped up and said, you know what? I've been meaning to go there for yeah. a long time. Who could turn down going to Avaco? Come on. Best opportunity ever. So there he is. He's diving right in front of me with the orange fence. Good color, by the way. Uh, yeah, orange yeah. is way better than white or pink. <laughs> Good replacement. <laughs> For Woody, that's for sure. Uh, you're about the same size as Woody too, but you have way better preference in colors. Yeah. All right, so here we are. Here's the sign. Please stop unless you're cave train. After this, it's all cave. Yeah. All Go of ahead. us are on closed circuit today, so no right. no bubbles unless we're we're going up and down. That's right. And uh, this dive, by the way, is just um this is this video is just a little snippet of a uh, over two and a half hour dive that we did today the introduction dive yeah <laughs> day one let's take it easy on day one two hours two and a half hours plus look how big this room is yeah it's massive yeah it's so hard to capture on video just how massive that the features are in this cave and the depth like it keeps going like beyond what the camera yeah. can pick up miles and miles and miles of cave this is, by the way, Dan's Cave in Abaco, also known as the Crystal Caves. So everything you see in front of you right now, all these uh, stalagmites coming out from the ground and stalactites from the ceiling, and even when there's columns, you see a whole column where they connected. This is all crystal. And you'll see at some points during the dive that we can put our lights right against it and the light will mm -hmm. shine through it, which is kind of cool. And this cave used to be a, a dry cave, you know, hundreds of thousands of years ago. Yeah, I think and Brian said multiple times, yeah. right? Like four, four times yeah. it has been dried. Look at that. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Looking good, Ben. Nice trim. Yeah. Taking it easy. Yeah. Finally got the video lights on. Yeah, <laughs> finally, yeah. yeah. We kept going back and forth with lighting because it's just hard to light up spaces this large. Right. All right, so this is the famous Cascade Room. This is part of that picture from National Geographic. We just swim by it on the way back to the Crystal Palace, but on the way back, we actually had an opportunity to stop by, go behind the waterfall the cascade however they they call that feature it's a massive column mm -hmm. yeah and let's just look at the ceiling oh okay. um just everywhere you look there's tiny crystals and formations on everything yeah look at thousands of stalactites everywhere some of them are broken though and if you look on the ground there will be sometimes you know, broken stalactites and stuff. But, um, you know, we didn't, break, we didn't break any of them today. We yeah. still have multiple days to go, so who yeah. knows? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no damage to the caves here. Yeah, we have to be very careful to protect this because, like I said, they're, they're all fragile. There's formations everywhere. And, yeah. you know, one wrong kick and you've destroyed something that, that's gone forever now. Yeah. And if you notice, uh, with my light and Ben's light as well, we signal each other. We're saying it's okay to make the jump. We actually cover this during the briefing. Brian said, 
look, when we get to the point where I'm going to make a jump for a circuit, I'm going to ask you if it's okay. Mm -hmm. If you're not feeling okay or whatever. Remember, this is like whatever it was, five minutes into the dive or eight minutes mm -hmm. into the dive. It was very, very recent. So he said, look, if you're not okay, you're whatever, something's wrong with your equipment, let me know and we can turn around. And then for some reason here, you took your cookie <laughs> off. Like, what was that about? I didn't want it there. I was running out of cookies. <laughs> I'm like, Ben, <laughs> leave it. I was like, I don't want to waste a You're cookie You're like, why? There. You're like, just leave it. Because uh, the jump <laughs> is for when we come back. Right, right. So see how we're, we're not going that way? So, so technically it is teed now. Yeah. Brian is like, are you guys okay? Yeah. Like, is this cool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah, Just keeping both Gus us, on his toes, you know, to make sure. <laughs> both of us <laughs> left a cookie back there, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing the clarity of the water. I mean, it's just like you oh, yeah. can't see it. When it's so peaceful, you're surrounded by all this. And with the rebreather, since we're not making any bubbles, it's so quiet. You're, you're so peaceful just swimming through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nice. Okay, so here is when we are on our way to the Crystal Palace, which is a room that is filled with these huge columns, like super tall stalagmites and columns and draperies. It's like there's crystal everywhere, mm -hmm. right? And this was your first kind of exposure to this room, like super, um, I guess, filled with crystal, yeah. right? Yeah, you can see that huge column there right yeah, on the other right side the of me. Look at that yeah. thing. It's like a wedding cake. Yeah. Massive. Plenty of frosting on that cake. Yeah. And you can hear me. If you hear those bubbles behind the scenes, that's because we're going up. So mm -hmm. these systems, as Ben mentioned, they're not 100% bubble free. Yeah. We do blow out some bubbles when we go up and the air expands. We've talked about this previously on the show. Look at this, just yeah. stalagmite galore. All right, so you're giving your okay. I'm giving my okay to make the jump. This is yet another jump. And you'll notice that we both drop a cookie on the exit side on this jump, which we actually left behind. We're gonna take him mm -hmm out in another day, Brian said. So we didn't go back to this point in the dive. I love how Brian just throws that up in the air. Boop, through the loop and uh, catches it. You're just there patiently waiting for room to drop your cookie. Tank trim is on point though. I don't know. Nah, it was, it was awesome. All right, so you're dropping your cookie off on the line. Yep, that looks good. I see your cookie. Yep. And notice that even though the two lines were kind of close to each other, we still make a jump because one of the rules of cave diving, we've mm -hmm. talked about this before, is to always have a continuous mm -hmm. guideline to the surface. So notice I drop a cookie. Yeah. So that's so, what a jump is. Yeah, so, so we okayed you know, the, the jump, we put our cookies down, and we waited for, for Brian to connect the line and then okayed that, just because we're, we're putting in line and now there's this navigational T. So that way just the entire team's on the same page. So if there's any confusion and we're exiting. Yeah, by the way, I'm glad you're adding clarity. Ben is way more experienced as a cave diver than me. He's done more cave dives this year than I've done since I got certified, so. You just have to cave dive more, guys. I know, I know, I know. Look at all these draperies. It looks like yeah. bacon to me. They look it's like bacon. bacon, right? Yeah, it's bacon. It's bacon strips, which I'm hungry now, so thank you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I love that. Look at those draperies, they're awesome. Yeah. And this like massive columns and wedding cakes. I can hear my OPV just leaking all the, <laughs> all the extra bubbles. Huh? Give me some of that cake. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Draperies. Yeah. 
Yeah, the draperies are so cool. Oh yeah, they're awesome. You like get over to the side and you just see how thin they are. Yeah. But they, they definitely do look like bacon though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should call him we Cave should bacon. Call him bacon. Yeah. <laughs> bacon strips. No more da draperies. No, wait till uh, later this week when we go to the glass factory. They have the thinnest draperies. Oh. The thinnest. They're so thin, like you can see through them. It's unbelievable. These ones are pretty thick. And actually later in this video, you will see that there was a drapery that was already broken and it was like on the ground and I pick it up and you can see a close, mm -hmm. like a close up. Um, oh yeah, so, so right crazy. here, there's a soda straw Yes. that has fallen. Uh, you know, someone else, we didn't break this off. No, 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 this is... Uh, but this. see see all the little bed of crystals there and Brian's gonna show us his little straw. Yeah, it's hollow, all the way through the center. This was there last year, by the way. <laughs> yeah. it's, it, it's like the prop of these little crystal pool. Huh. This is a marketing thing. You know, they have plastic yeah. straws and paper straws. We have crystal How straws. How about crystal straws? Yeah. Yeah, this little pool is really cool. And it's amazing. You, you, it looks super fragile. I don't think you touched it, even though he was telling you, it's okay, you can touch mm -hmm. it. I mean, it's like a bed of nails. It's like oh, yeah. super hard, like steel. Uh, well, yeah, it's all covered in crystal. So mm -hmm. some of the things that look smooth actually have a good bit of texture to them. Yeah. Look how tall it goes all the way to the ceiling. It's a column. And then Brian does something interesting. He's like, hey, come here. How about you uh, touch my knob over here? Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I was like, is that what? like the lucky crystal? <laughs> or are you going to like rub it? Do we see go our ahead, future? Go ahead and polish Brian's knob over here. <laughs> Look, you... He just did it right yeah. here. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, hey, I want to. I? Oh, 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 okay. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, that's awesome. All right, and then we go through this corridor, I guess, type of thing, which is covered in giant columns, right? Crystal columns, yeah. which I thought it was cool. You get to see us go through this. So because it's delicate, so when there's a large piece of rock like that, that's real solid, you can gently yeah, push pull off. on it so that you're not having to kick. Because right. if you kick, you could accidentally destroy one of those pretty columns. Yeah. And you see we yeah. have to go sideways here because the, the room to go through is pretty small. Yeah. I, like, I like how you kick sideways too. That's... <laughs> That's awesome. Just, See, this, just, this frog kick over here where you have like stagger fins, like I've never uh, <laughs> seen anyone do that. That's awesome. Well, if you know, I was so paranoid about not, not touching anything. Yeah. You know, so just it lots of like, little, little corrections, keeping your fins together. Mm hmm. Yeah, and then I go through it. A little bit shaky. You see Brian's reaction here when I come out of it. Watch his head on the right. He's like, whew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this was another large room that, that we swam around where you see the line kind of went the other direction. Yeah. Look at all this area on the other side. This is what we just swim through. Yeah. Yeah, some of these things, it's even cooler swimming back through it. Yeah, definitely. But the fun thing, the, the, the funny thing is that I, I don't care what camera you have. Like, obviously we don't have the best camera, but you can bring in the most expensive camera and it doesn't do it justice. Like seeing it oh, with your yeah. own eyes is just amazing. And that's why I tell everyone, especially every rebreather diver I, I meet is like, make Abaco like your goal. Like this is my target. Yeah. I'm going to train for it, which is what I did. I wanted to be good enough to be mm -hmm. able to dive here. 11 um, out of 10 recommended. <laughs> 11 out of 10. <laughs> 
I love it because I, you know, you took, you took Woody's spot and I feel like, I felt like I had to convince you. He's like, dude, just do it. Just come on, let, come with me. Let's go. And you were like, all right, fine. If I don't have anything else going on, I'll, you know, I'll go. And then, and then you show up and like the first thing you said when we came out of dive number one is like, can we do this every year? Oh no, I wouldn't do night dive. That was the <laughs> first thing. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Are we diving tonight? Yeah. So yeah, so see all the, the formations on the ceiling here. Unbelievable. And the cam like I guess I'll say like the camera doesn't give it justice. A no. lot of these have, have a very translucent property to them. Yeah. So look at this. When you see them with your own eye, it's completely different from the camera. Yeah. And they're so fragile. Some of these are super thin. I got the camera close. I wasn't that close. I was just stretching my arm, right, to get close to them. Try to show you guys the detail. But if you bump into them, they will be destroyed. Look at that. Yeah. Shining yeah. through it. Yeah. So if you've paid attention in the video, all the rocks that look like that are crystal. Yeah. All of them shine like that. Some of them are massive, like the size of a truck or yeah. a bus. Well, this, this one's massive. Yeah, this one is humongous. Yeah. So he's like, turn off the video light. Yeah. I'm like, Ben, Ben, turn the light off. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Ryan. But you just kept shining the light. <laughs> Oh, well, Brian had looked at me. So I was like, no, no, it's okay. Keep, go back, Brian. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And he doesn't look like it on camera, but it just, it's like this orange hue, yeah. right? When you put the light on it, it looks so, so see, cool. See how Brian's going up? That entire column is crystal. Yeah, it's amazing. And that's just one of thousands. Yeah. This thing is like 20 feet tall or something, like six meters tall. And it's all crystal. Look at that. See, this is the cave for you. You want to bring the people that say, isn't cave diving just wet rocks? Oh yeah, like, no. Well, this, these are some very high quality wet rocks. <laughs> yeah. These are the Ferrari of wet rocks, yeah. Yeah. And there I am kind of doing the same thing because Brian went to the top and was like, I want to do it too. Because <laughs> um, like I said, like the camera kind of blow, the image is blown out yeah. in the video. But I mean, when you're there, the, you know, the, that whole section of the rocks lit up. Look at that thing. Because like that video thing. light's brighter than, than Brian's light. Uh -huh. So like, it, was, it was really blowing out the camera. But in person, you, it was lighting up so much more of the rock. Yeah. And look, it's like, oh, don't miss the ceiling. The yeah. ceiling has a thousand stalactites per square meter. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a locator for a GPS so yeah. they can map it accurately. Yeah. That's one of the survey points where, survey where points, um, yeah. he, he's done uh, location from Take the surface. Super red, orange type of. Yeah. So cool. I'm like, dude, what do you think? Mm. They're like, eh. I'm out. And then we're like, oh wait, Brian, you're leaving us. Come back, we're not <laughs> done yet. But this is where he shows us, he tells us to cover our lights because he's gonna show us the reflection of the water, right? You see, this is air trapped in the ceiling and you can see the bottom right there, how it looks like the ocean, right? On the rocks. See the reflection, how it bounces. Mm -hmm. So he's just moving and I'm trying to capture him, you know, getting the ceiling and hitting the ground at the same time. And it's, it's not the best, but it's, it's super cool. That the reflection of the light shines on the rocks below. By the way, this works in other caves. I just did it recently yeah. at Peacock and it, you know, shines on yeah. the bottom too. 
This is when he says, like, all right, everybody, shine your lights. Yeah. I think this is another one of Brian's rocks. We have to, like, bless it, say an incantation. and Look at this. This is one of the, uh, I think the only time I actually went selfie mode. On this one, and cut yeah, her, so like all three of us. All the lights on it. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. That's us. Do you regret diving dry, by the way? You are the only one diving dry today. Oh, no. I no? freeze. <laughs> I was happily warm in my dry suit. I'm glad. All right, so look at these two massive columns here. I wanted to get Ben swimming through them because we kind of do a U-turn behind it, but you have to be really, really careful because of all those yeah. stalactites and stalagmites right behind you. So I'm glad you kept it tight. Yeah, if you see, like, I'm trying to keep my fins together again. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not quite enough to where I need to try to, like, like shuffle, but, it's, you know, I'm, I'm paranoid about turning, and then, you know, your, your fin just hits something. Right. This is where I'm showing. Yeah, because see? Like, look at all and, like, that I was stuff. trying to stay so far away from everything. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. So we did our little tour through the columns there. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So at different places inside this cave, there's sand from the Sahara Desert. I don't know if this is when like, I don't know, Africa was like all the way connected to America or something like, mm -hmm. or South America, North America, something like that. But anyway, there's uh, sand from the Sahara Desert inside the cave. And I, you know, it does this cool effect when you disturb it. Yeah. It's really cool. And that is a plate of crystal right there too, if, if anyone was yeah. wondering. <laughs> Sandwich between crystal. It's really cool. By the way, that stuff really paints a lot because last year Brian painted my hands with it. After he did that, he's like, come here. And he grabbed my hands and put stripes on them. Red stripes. All right, dropping more cookies. And this section right here is called Batlands. So we're in a different part of the cave. You're showing me the current, right? Those little... Yeah, yeah. So, so that little frayed piece of line there where, mm -hmm. where two lines were joined, yeah, right there. you can um, use it's... something like that to see the flow in a cave. And, th and there was slight flow in the direction that yeah. we're swimming now. I took a second here to film the, the floor because this is... You know, for the people that make fun of me when they are like, I can't believe Gus doesn't do dry caving, but he, he can do flooded caves. Well, imagine walking through this nightmare right here. Well, not just You will that. break all your ankles and knees and... Yeah, you, you, you destroy features to yeah, yeah. through it as well. Yeah. I mean, w when you have the water, you can control your buoyancy to easily glide through it. Well, I wouldn't say easily glide through, but yeah. you can glide through carefully. Yeah, this um, is the first Jaws that we saw. You see things in the middle of the screen. It's like teeth coming from above yeah. and from below. But there's a second set of Jaws that will come in a, in a, in a little bit that are way better. I think yeah. they look much way better. Way better. Which you gave it a name, right? I, I gave it a name. Why are you trying to spoil the surprise? Oh, well, I'm not. I'm just saying name is coming, so stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> there's the Jaws again coming into view from the back, I think. I think we swim around it at this point. Yeah, yeah so a lot of these features, you, you kind of navigate around them and then you can uh, see them from the other side. Yeah. The yeah. draperies yeah. on the top left. More top cave left. bacon. More cave bacon, yes. I need to start calling it cave bacon. <laughs> okay, so this is the part where I saw this chunk of drapery if you can see it right below where Ben is swimming by and I'm like oh I'm, I'm gonna stop by and pick it up because it was already broken and who knows how long it's been there um, but at least you can see it close by it's pretty thick and they're heavy yeah because you know it's solid crystal close there look at that chunk of bacon yeah. 
Gently put it back down. Keep swimming. Yeah, I like this part because it's a, even though it's still big, it's pretty tight that you have to like be on point. You can yeah. be all over the place. Right? Yeah, it, it, it's big enough. Right. Big enough that you're not destroying anything, but you also can be all over the place. Oh, here we go. Second set of jaws. Yeah. It's the cave dragon. Cave dragon. <laughs> she doesn't that look so, like a dragon? Dragon teeth. The fun part about this is that I thought Brian was doing that on purpose. Red light, blue oh, lights, yeah. or whatever, to make it cool. He just didn't know how the light works. Yeah, Brian was messing <laughs> with my light. But no, it worked out messing with the, you know, having the, the rave down there. Um, Cave rave. Yep. Perfect place to end this dive. Yeah. And uh, dra uh, dragon teeth. Dragon teeth. Dragon dragon teeth. teeth. Super cool. It even looks like it has an eye. Look at that. Yeah. Told you, it's the cave dragon, it's the dragon teeth. That's such an awesome dive. And that's a wrap for day one. Yeah. What do you think, Ben? Oh, this is awesome. Awesome? Yeah, worth the trip. Thanks, Thanks Brian. Thanks to this guy, Brian Kaycock. It was amazing. We yeah. still have a few more days to go. If you didn't catch us when we came last year, I'm gonna leave the video right here. So you can check it out. There's more coming up, so stay yep. tuned. Yep, see you guys.